Let's start out by working with some step sequencing on drums, as this is the most obvious reason to use Machine Jam. It's a step sequencer first and foremost. So one thing I want to point out is first, if you use this D-pad here, the directional pad, if I hit down, I'm accessing the next bank of patterns. So patterns 1 through 8, 9 through 16, etc. And if I arrow over, I'm accessing the next bank of groups, A2 through H2, here's A1 through H1, etc. So let's choose my drum group, let's choose a new scene, and let's just come to a, a new slate of empty patterns. So the first thing you'll see is a two-bar pattern shows up, that's my default setting. If I want to create a shorter or longer pattern, I hit Shift Solo to do the pattern length, 1, 4, 8, what is this, 128, something crazy. Let's just do a one-bar pattern to keep it easy. Now when I come to step mode, what do we have? Three different modes that are lit up. Depending on which mode you are, you're going to see different things. So let's start with step mode one, which is one sound step sequence at a time. So now we come to step mode. I can hear my different drums. I only have four loaded up in this group just to keep things easy. And let's hit play, and we'll see everything going through. I can turn my metronome on, and we can make a four on the floor. Right? Very simple. Now, like all the classic drum machines of past, like a Roland 808, 909, you have a standard velocity and then an accented velocity. So I can do that by holding Shift, Accent, and now these second ones will be higher velocity. I can change these so it's all a higher velocity. So this will give you a little bit of dynamic control. Okay, let's come out of step, and maybe we want to double this to be a two-bar pattern. Well, how can I do that? I hold shift duplicate and it will instantly double it from a 2 to a 4 to an 8 to a 16, etc. And now let's also just duplicate this pattern to make an overdub. So if I hold down uh, duplicate and hit that first pattern and then just paste it to this next one here, now we're accessing one where we can overdub. So let's come in and let's go to step mode. 8 for this one. So 8 is an interesting one where you can actually uh, do 8 sounds at one time. This is I think the only instrument like this that will allow you to do that. And now you'll see a different vision coming by and the first 8 sounds in the machine group and the next 8 sounds they're all color coded easy to see. You'll see them going across at once. So I know my snares are in 2 I could simply come here and add a snare hit, right? But now you'll see because I have eight going, I have now four parts, four bars to this pattern. It's kind of, it's kind of harder to, to actually sequence. So I would have to come into each part and access the snare like that. So I'm personally not a big fan of the eight just because I think it sequences too fast. But it is nice if you kind of know what you want to get into and or just experiment with sounds that you're not sure what it's going to be and you kind of haphazardly come in here and hit things and you come up with like happy accidents that way. Okay, so we have our snares in. Let's go ahead and duplicate this again and let's get some hi-hats. And to do that, let's use step mode four, which is four sounds at one time. So this becomes a little more manageable now with snare, kick, hi-hats. Okay. Now, you may see again that it's not following the pattern. Well, we can change this by coming to Shift Grid, and this brings up our record mode, at which point I can change the pattern follow to on. So now when I restart, it'll automatically set up to the next one. So I can be fast and do 16th note hi-hats. Oops, but you see, if you're not fast enough, it'll switch over when you're not ready. Okay, so you can also toggle that on and off, that follow mode, by hitting Shift and Pad A, which is kind of nice. So at that point, you can just select which one. Now, this is a little static. I want to kind of take those accents off. So let's go ahead and just redo this. See how easy this can be to just get in there fast and do it. All right, now, so now I have a, let's come back to our record mode. Our default velocity is 100. Our accent is 127. So we can actually change this to create more variation in the pattern and a little bit more 
interesting dynamics. So let's start by just kind of doing this, resetting some of these, every other one. And now listen. And you can see the velocities here on the bottom are becoming a little more manageable. If I now need to change the levels because something's too loud, I can hold down level. And now it's flashing that it's at the group level, but let's actually go into the sound level. And now I can see all my different parts. The open hi-hat was a little loud. Let's turn it down. And very simple to step sequence your drums like this. <laughs> 